five and, and my brothers were insane. And I think my kids would be asking, who's that? Is it Uncle Mikey or Uncle, Uncle Davey? Because daddy doesn't run like that anymore, I can assure you. Um, um, so uh, I want to thank the family and friends that have come in support of the other honorees and certainly the whole event. Um, congrats to the other honorees, particularly Mr. Mr. Stewart and, and Mr. Valio, uh, legends of Malvin Prep. Um, a thanks to Father Flynn, to Christian, certainly for his kind words, to Carolyn McLaughlin, to Mr. Chinichi for pulling it all together, and uh, the Alumni Association. And a thanks to Jeff Hilliard uh, for the nomination, very kind of him. Um, I'm honored and humbled by the induction. Uh, my want was to come up, say thank you, take the picture, and go back to my seat. But you realize an event like this is more about um, recognizing and, and thanking others um, than talking about yourself. My brother had these allergies at my wedding, same allergies, as you know. Uh, the, uh, I want to start with recognizing two giants of Malvern Prep. It would uh, be Father Duffy and Father Wood, uh, great leaders here and, and sadly missed. Um, start off by recognizing teachers, even in the context uh, of an athletic function. Uh, without the teachers, uh, the athletics wouldn't be possible. Um, I started in the lower school with Mr. Kinden, Mr. Tosti, Mr. Kenny, Mr. McCarry, Mr. Chinichi, Mr. McLaughlin, uh, up to the uh, upper school with Father Flynn, Mr. McGuire, Mr. Roper, Ostick, Simpson, and Mr. Ryan. Uh, the key of the teachers I mentioned and many others is that they knew you. And, and it sounds simple to say, oh, they know you, but, but it was deeper than that, right? They knew your brothers, they knew your, your parents, um, they knew what was going on in your life, so they, made, they knew what made you tick, so they could connect with you. They would, uh, they would challenge you, they would hold you accountable, yet they supported you. And because of that support, you had a chance for success um, athletically and also academically. Um, Mr. Ryan was kind enough to hire me as an assistant coach uh, for varsity baseball some years ago. And I got to coach with E.J. Moyer and uh, Mike Hickey, great coaches, and with Tim Doherty, a great coach and still a great teacher here at Malvern. And doing that gave me a nice perspective on coaching that I didn't always know as a player. Uh, and that dovetails into the coaches that I had the good fortune to play with, to play for, I should say. In football, it was Coach Pellegrini, Coach Sells, Coach Panetta, Coach Simpson, Coach Verno. Uh, the football program taught you a certain grit and determination and a, a high level of teamwork. All Value, valuable skills I still use, still use today. Uh, with baseball, I had the uh, opportunity, uh, because of Bill Ford and Pat Miller, to play uh, as a sophomore, and that was, um, that was fun to play with the big boys and play with my big brother, Mike. Uh, we then went on to Coach Gross, who is here tonight and still looking fabulous, Coach, so thank you. Um, in baseball, you learned a certain mental toughness, a tenacity, and really how to win. Uh, we had some pretty stacked teams when I was here in baseball, and it was, it was a great fortune to play with those guys. But it was more than just the physical ability, it was how do you win? How do you have the mental toughness to win? And because of Coach Gross and other teammates and coaches, we learned that. Uh, and as Todd mentioned, and he's right, Mr. Mills, I'd have to give him credit. He kept my brittle body operational many times, so uh, thank you to him. Um, besides the teachers and coaches, uh, there are the, uh, the classmates and the teammates. Um, as you saw with uh, Bob DeVescovo and, and Brian Kenny, I'm, I'm lucky to have a, a contingent of the class of 1993 here. Uh, we get together usually around Christmas time, a couple of us, just to catch up on life and see how everybody's doing. Uh, great guys like Sid Hodgson, who's here with his wife from Northern Virginia. Uh, Brian Malone, Sean McKinney, Brian McKern and his parents, Brian Kenny, Greg Cassidy. Um, I mentioned Bob, and uh, it was funny. I was talking to him like a week ago, and he was kind enough to tell me, oh, remember, you got to do a speech. I'm like, oh, OK, well, you're a good friend. What's, what's the advice? Because just wing it. Get up there and wing it. So that was. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for the helpful advice, Bob. I can't really see it, but that was very helpful. Thank you. Um, more in the Malvern Brotherhood, uh, like uh, Matt Lewis, John Dwyer, um, other teammates that went to Class 93, but uh, people like Brendan Kenny, Kevin McKernan, who's here and I talk to regularly, uh, the Davis Brothers, and Jeff Hilliard. These were all guys that uh, you pulled for, they pulled for you, and what made the Malvern Brotherhood special. Um, Beyond the, this, that Malvern Brotherhood and the teachers, coaches, and the many teammates uh, was my family. Um, it, uh, my mom and dad. Yeah. 
and uh, uh, Mike and Dave. When we asked my parents, uh, you know, years after we graduated, like, why Malvern? Why did you, you choose Malvern? And they said, uh, the, uh, the Christian values and morals that they were teaching us at home, uh, they wanted to find a school that would further be an extension of home. They wanted to make sure that if you're going to school, you're going to learn those same Christian morals and values that were instilling you at home. And that was Malvern Prep, and they were right. Uh, as the years have gone on, I've, uh, I've been saying a lot more about them. They're right. That's something I'm, I'm happy to do. Uh, they made countless sacrifices to give my brothers and I countless opportunities. They um, oftentimes to talk of heroes and... Uh, You put those heroes up on a pedestal, but you can't really touch them, right? They're, they're kind of untouchable. Um, not to me. Uh, the example, the way my parents treated each other, treated my brothers, treated other people, um, I got to see heroism every day. And my mom and dad are my heroes. Man, I love you. Uh, almost there. Uh, my brothers, Mike and Dave, as you saw on the video, um, obviously the three of us have all grown up to be very tan, muscular, uh, <laughs> handsome, yet rugged. Uh, you're seeing the lights go on. I'm not kidding. They're, they're handsome and rugged. Um, I've grown up to look like a tall leprechaun, and they've grown up like that, so that's good. But uh, if, uh, our parents taught us to fight for each other, not against each other, and they've always fought for me. Uh, countless times, uh, driving up and down Route 401, talking about life, talking about sports, uh, talking about school, uh, they've always been there for me. They, uh, it, it goes to that line of your siblings are your best link to your past and most likely to stick with you in the future, and that's been true. They've always stuck with me. They're the two guys I know I could call at any hour of the day or night, and if I said, hey, I need you, they wouldn't ask why or when, they'd simply say, I'm, I'm on my way. And, I'm blessed to have them as brothers, and I love you both. Uh, lastly, to my wonderful wife, Megan, three great kids, Catherine, Tierney, and Jack, thank you for bringing me more joy and fulfillment than I thought possible. Love you. Thank you all.